how to achieve super smoke mode on the regular Traeger. Well, sometimes you can set it at smoke, sometimes you need to set it at 180 to actually keep the fire going, or else one, the smoke mode will let the fire die and then the pellets will feed and then it'll get really hot as it's trying to keep up. Uh, it's kind of a delicate procedure to make the, the chips just sit there and smolder. And uh, what you gotta do is you kinda, you gotta adjust these things here and you gotta get the right amount of oxygen to the fire pit. But once you get it right and dialed, your machine should just sit there and like basically smoke like forever. Um, sometimes you have to keep an eye on it. I'll leave this one cracked just like a little bit, you know. Uh, leave this one like cracked. Uh, you can you can leave it open or you can leave it cracked. But um, today it's kind of warm outside, so I gotta have them open. A little bit of air going through there to keep it kind of cool. But it kicks on. It just like kicked on, and so I don't know if you can see, but it's smoking. It's just a bunch of smoke billowing out of there, and then it just kicked on the fi the, the pellets. There's more smoke coming. Basically, you can make it smoke endlessly, and it just keeps smoking your food, and uh, makes makes your makes your uh, makes your uh, uh, food really nice and red. You get that red meat smoke color. See all that smoke just billowing out of there? I don't know if you can see it, but uh, lots of smoke. And uh, here's my fish, some beans. So I, I like that candied red look. That, that, that candy, the whole top, the whole steak, everything. It's right. See, it just started feeding more pellets kind of low sometimes you'll have to adjust it if the smoke stops feed it just a little bit and make sure it, it keeps smoking you always want it smoking and so uh super smoke mode see it's just like billowing out smoke here maybe you can't see it i don't know yeah you can probably kind of see it and so now it's really uh smoky and uh kind of cold smoke so sometimes you just got to cool the traeger down get it to cold smoke you can leave it alone make sure you always check it um, sometimes it'll kind of get finicky and you can change the P mode to like P3, but I usually set it at P2, leave it like stock, but it's feeding now and it's smoking now. And so if it over starts to smoke, you got to let the, you got a little, little more oxygen in and let that fire almost burn out. Don't let the, don't let it get too smoky. And so that's the, that's the key. If it's too much smoke, open it up, give yourself a little more oxygen, let the fire burn a little faster before it throws more pellets in. And so it's just a matter of getting it right and your, your food will just constantly turn out smoked. It's, see how smoky that is? And so it's just feeding more pellets and so it's just a matter of dialing it in to keep it like pumping out smoke like that. See that? I tried to call and Traeger about it because uh, uh, it's it's kind of, uh, uh, you know, they don't they don't suggest doing this. Uh, it might burn out the, the, the pot fan just a little bit quicker, but See how much smoke? It just like sits here and pours out smoke. You, if you if you let the fire actually turn into a fire, it, you really don't get smoke. But if you just keep feeding the smoldering chips as they're in there and you control the oxygen, it'll just sit there and smoke up your food like really nice. And uh, so yeah, it's uh, just feed more pellets, get more smoky. Um, and so yeah, there you have it. Look at all that smoke, just like. So you just, you don't want it too smoky. You just want to kind of want to get the temperature down to where it's, see the, the fire is supposed to be at 165. And so if you let it go before below 145, it'll die. And so you kind of just got to keep the right, the right uh, uh, temperature. And so, you know, with the right oxygen, usually uh, uh, we would plug that one and, and leave that one kind of open on a cold day with the P setting like a little bit. So it's not kicking them in so fast. It really needs to be set on P3. Um, but uh, as you can see, you know, that's how I like my steaks. I'll, I'll crank it up and turn it up eventually, but uh, with all that goodness. And so, yeah, that's how I use my Traeger. Have a great day, guys.